This is Twit. Now, besides, uh, now as we as we go down the the rabbit hole here, we're going to get farther and farther out and less and less <laughs> details. The next was Apple Arcade, which is an, we don't know when it'll be available. Sometimes this fall, we don't know what it will cost. Apple says you'll have a hundred games to play for a subscription fee. Uh, none of those games will be free or freemium. No in-app purchases. They'll all be, you pay in them, you know, normally you pay an amount to play the game, but you'll pay one flat fee and get access to all of those games. It looked like they were really targeting indie uh, game labs. They didn't announce any titles. Uh, I guess they'll all be exclusive, though. They did say you won't be able to play yeah. these games anywhere else. And they're and they're also helping funding this, uh, the creation of some of these ah, games too. I didn't hear that. So, oh, that's interesting. So that's yeah. a very positive thing. I, I like uh, this is one of the this is actually probably my favorite announcement because that's it solves a really really huge problem, particularly for parents. Uh, the ability to simply say, "Here, kid, any game that's in this that's in this uh, this uh, Apple game subscription, you can play it forever, do whatever you want." Knowing that number one, it's very very tightly curated. You're not going to find nastiness in there because this is all essential. Apple published games. Uh, there's no place where they're going to see advertisements. There's no place where they're going to be encouraged to buy more. Well, Simpsons and that's from a parent's point of view. That, that's the most important thing is that you're not yeah. going to stack up big charges for uh, yeah. Simpsons donuts yeah. and things like that. And and, and and I love the idea of, of Apple supporting independent creators. I, I've some of the some of the greatest classes of soft the greatest class of software in terms of, in terms of creativity is gaming because this is probably the la the last the last class of widely distributed software that you can conceivably have just two absolute mutants writing this get writing this thing uh, uh, every single night uh, after they get off of work for months and months and months it could be just the most bizarre thing that just these two mutants think is a wonderful <laughs> idea for a game and then your mind your mind is blown away because you have never ever seen anything like this before <laughs> so, so how much am, is this going to cost probably the the furthest thing from a gamer that you could ever get <laughs> In, in the tech world, I, I don't play games. I really have no interest in playing games. I'd rather play my guitar. But what they did with Arcade yesterday signals to me how serious they are about services. You know, we all knew that this was going uh, a, a big services uh, uh, event. But the gaming one, gaming are, are some of the most popular items on the App Store. And to pull all that stuff together and now say, and we're going to have this uh, Apple Arcade. I mean, they are they are trying to uh, leverage every bit of services that they can. And I'm not saying that they're you know wrong in doing the arcade. I think it's great that they're doing it. And like Andy said, even helping uh, developers bring some of these games to life. I, that's all great stuff. But it's also a, a great revenue stream for Apple too so, to say, okay, here you go. Here's so 100 games. I don't know what the average cost for games is, but uh, you know, I think it's pretty typically under ten dollars for these kinds of games, maybe five to eight dollars. Uh, you get a hundred games, unlimited play, as long as you keep playing that monthly fee. What is the fee? They didn't say. Unknown. No, I know, but what would? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Spec ten. I, uh, spe I, yeah. I would say ten dollars. Probably ten. Everything there's mentioning has to be ten bucks. Yeah, that's that's what you that you can't be so far ahead of your Netflix subscription that people are that people will ask themselves, is this going to entertain me one ah, point, good point five times more than my <laughs> Netflix subscription right. does? So, as as negative and skeptical as I am of all of these things, I will probably buy them all, <laughs> and maybe that's the secret to the success for testing here. Purposes, for test, well, for no, it just purposes. makes sense. You know, purposes. if it's 10 yeah. bucks, it depends what it is. If it's 50 bucks a month, I won't. Yeah. But I pay 60 bucks, no, maybe it's a little more than that a year, for Microsoft's version of this, uh, which allows me access to some number of titles. Uh, it downloads the game just like this does. Yeah. You play, it's not a streaming service. And it's worth it to me because it's, and this is where the calculus is for me, it costs about the same as two games a year. Yeah. And so I know I'm going to buy that many games at least a year. So it makes sense uh, for me to buy that. Yeah. I think that's the calculus people will make here.
It's 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 nice. The the, the problem is that I, I a few years ago I'm I'm embarrassed to say, to indicate that I'm this irresponsible with my money. But a few <laughs> years ago I actually had to make it a recurring calendar thing to audit all of my yes, <laughs> all of my subscriptions. Auto pay stuff yes, to figure out that oh I'm actually paying I, I'm actually paying sixty dollars a month for things that I signed up for yes. just to try them out or write about them. Exactly. But then I forgot to do it, uh, and or I even worse, well. where we yeah, all exactly. do that. In fact, that's a monetization strategy, <laughs> right? Exactly. So, so that so that that's a a danger for that's my responsibility. Yes, but the 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 problem it creates is that it's a it's it's a great value to have a hundred games for ten bucks a month. But I'm a lot of people are going to have to say I'm already paying. Here's here's what I'm paying for Hulu. Here's what I'm paying for Netflix. Here's what I'm paying for right. my Dropbox storage. Here's what I'm paying for uh, my my hosting no, but, for but my website or whatever. That isn't and the calculation. I, do I have another ten bucks? That's not the calculation. I don't think. I think people's calculation will be like more like mine, which is, well, I played games this year. How much did I spend on games this year? Independent of yeah. these other things. I'm gonna. I know I'm gonna keep doing that. I'm not thinking. Oh, I can't buy this game. I gotta have my Netflix. So that's the amount of money Apple's gonna think about. Is well, what's that amount of money, and how can we make that a little lower? I think there's a second benefit that a lot of people. At least this fits my mode. I'm constantly looking for something fun to do, another yeah. game to play, and that's actually a lot of work. And you often buy games that are crappy, and so a curated <laughs> selection of a hundred games. It's almost, I would think, guaranteed to have one or two that I want to play for a month. And if yep. they refresh those regularly, if it's the same 100 games all year, that's not as good. But if they refresh those regularly, that's pretty compelling because it not, not yep. only is it a price somewhat similar, I'm hoping, to what I'd be paying, probably less than what I'd be paying anyway, but it's helping me by picking, by putting games there that I don't have to think about and they'll just have something fun to do. So yep. I think, yeah, I I think, think this the, is going to be a success. Game the game discovery aspect of it, which is one of the hardest things exactly. when when you go into the app store and you're just looking for a good game to play, it's difficult to know. There's just so much out there. And, and to, unless you're reading about these games, you don't know what's good or what's bad or what's in your wheelhouse or in your style. And this, this sort of, you know, bundle of a hundred games and that might increase in the future gives you the chance to just play the games whether or not you like them. You just try it out and go, well, I played that for 10 minutes. I think it's dumb. I'll move on. But you're you're not losing out on any money by doing that. And you don't have to um, beg developers to make products for free. These developers are getting to... Um, make these make these apps and get their apps their games funded and i actually don't know how the 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 money is divvied out after just being funded are they going to get a cut of the yeah. of the the monthly subscription i wonder uh, that, that definitely popped into my head of like i think it's great that apple is helping fund the creation of these but then what because you know Maybe some of these things are going to is it an investment or a grant <laughs> 